if, if the panel could give me and everyone an idea of where you see AI going in the next five years, um, if we Everywhere. can keep it relatively short, we are running very quickly out of time, but just a, a quick overview of where you see things going in the next few years. So I think I think I tried it too before. I think I think everywhere is probably the easiest word to describe it. Sharing that data, sharing those experiences, sharing our capability, cross government, cross uh, private sector. Um, I think that's where it'll go. Um, the just the one I wanted to go back to on the Newcastle. I think I think Newcastle will be leading the way. Um, I think as as data sensitive as it is for everyone, and, and companies want to try and keep more things on shore and things like Amazon and Azure and the cloud be more readily available in the UK. I think people will want to develop in the UK, and I think we'll want to develop it, develop it at a, at a premium. And I think we can do that in Newcastle because I think our cost to serve rate is, is is lower than London. You know, rent isn't as much, and salaries aren't as much, and all of that other good stuff leads to just a really, um, a really great future for for AI and in, in, in just development and growth across across the northeast. Um, it's it's just gonna grow because um, I think the growth that we had on AI has been happening over the last uh, six to seven years. Uh, the processing power, the data, fundamental things that's been uh, thriving this growth. And uh, we're not going to stop using mobile phones or putting our data out there. I think we are going to do it a lot more. Uh, so I think it's, it's, it's just going to grow. Uh, the power of data is going to make it grow. As the educated here, I, I think nuclear apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a difficult one because I think the tech, the tech will grow faster than the legislation and the ethical debate and the privacy debate. Um, so there's going to be a lot, of, a lot of questions asked after the fact. So technology will get there and then we'll be railing back going, but what if we get Alexa to phone the police if it hears uh, issues of domestic violence? Like, that kind of thing's out there. The technology is available right now. Um, I think, I mean, even in, in sales, depending at which point you put artificial intelligence within the sales process, changes culture. So if I put it at the point of buying, so it makes the buying decisions, then all of a sudden you're removing perception of value. So you've got a, a machine that goes, that's worth X amount. So the actual value becomes the actual value, which isn't the case in sales. Um, so all marketing decisions then get changed behind that. So it's going to depend on a lot of individual uh, powerful people's decisions on where they place the tech. Um, so you've got the likes of Amazon who are now in everyone's home, uh, the majority of people's homes, who are going to get to decide very specific things about this ethical debate before anyone else gets to say. Yeah, I think just just kind of final final point on that, not just in terms of where the tech will go in five years, but I think that the point you mentioned around culture is a is a really interesting one. I think we'll see as much cultural shift and swing as as we will with the tech. You know, we've talked about how the nature of jobs will change, so we'll see a lot more machine learning engineers, we'll see a lot more data scientists roles, which are already on the increase. I think in five years' time, they will they will only get higher and higher, um, and just people's views around AI generally. I think we we're seeing it on an annual basis becoming far more commonplace, for far more accessible, and a, and a lot less scary than I think it's probably been in in, in five or ten years um, past. So I think there's definitely, you know, the cultural shift that we'll see as well as the, the technology trends as well.